Today on GL's Great Food, we're at Marilyn Harris's kitchen again, and we're discovering the world of desserts and orange raisin bread pudding. Marilyn, bread pudding is very old world, isn't it? Well, the whole concept of bread pudding is very old fashioned, but I sort of invented this, my own version of it, the orange raisin version. You know, Thomas, my early culinary training was in New Orleans, and it's one of the most popular desserts in New Orleans because just like in France, every day they buy a loaf or two of French bread there. So what you've done is you've given it a modern twist with the Maryland recipe. I have. Just cut up your bread, and it is a great thing to do with leftover bread that's slightly stale, and just pour out some milk over it. For a pound loaf of French bread, we put a quart of milk, and then that gets set aside for at least an hour, but it can be as long as all day in the fridge if that's more convenient for you or all evening. So it's just a setup process. It's a setup process. So here's our bread, Thomas, that's been sitting for an hour. In the mixer, I have six whole large eggs and a cup and a quarter of sugar. And I've beaten that up until it's all nice and, and light and fluffy, as you will see. And I've just added a teaspoon of some good vanilla. This is our custard for our bread pudding. But we're going to jazz it up a little bit because in this pan, we have put a cup of golden raisins and we've added some wonderful orange liqueur. I like to use Cointreau. You can use triple sec if you it want. It smells great. And some fresh orange juice, the juice of a fresh orange, and the zest of a fresh orange. And we, we let that come to a boil, let the raisins sit there while the milk and bread were sitting there. We're going to strain the liquid off, that good stuff, the orange liqueur and the oranges. And the puffed up raisins are going to get added to this mixture. It goes into a buttered pan. This bakes, Thomas, for about an hour in a 350 oven. A very simple dessert, but you'll see how pretty it looks when it's baked. Very simple looking. And the magic of television, we just happen to have a bread pudding that's already baked in that same oven. And now to make the simple sauce. In this saucepan, we had a stick of melted butter. We added a cup of powdered sugar with two teaspoons of cornstarch to thicken it up a bit. And to that, we're going to add this wonderful liquid that came from draining the raisin. That just has to bubble for a minute or two until it thickens. Now you could just pour a small amount if you wanted and, and serve the rest at the table, but I like to pour it all over and let it just soak right in. This makes the creme de la creme. We just take a serving spoon and just scoop some out, add some sauce on top. Yum, yum. Fancy bread pudding. Let's try some. To learn more about Maryland's orange raisin bread pudding, go to greatlifestylestoday.com. From James, our sous chef, Marilyn, and me, cheers. cheers.